Welcome back with another video lecture. In this video lecture, we will discuss CSF or cerebrospinal fluid. CSF is the fluid that surrounds the brain and the spinal cord. Here in this diagram, the blue color that surrounds the brain and spinal cord are CSF. Cerebrospinal fluid is clear colorless body fluid found within the tissues that surround the brain and spinal cord. CSF has less protein as compared to plasma and different electrolytes. Also they have a high chloride. CSF is produced by specialized ependymal cells in the chloride, chloride plexus of the ventricles where the ventricles are a series of cavities filled with CSF of the brain. Per day 500 ml CSF are produced in the choroid plexus. The total volume in adult is 140 to 170 ml and in children 10 to 60 ml. Now what are the purpose of CSF? Why CSF sample is collected? CSF needs to collect in case of bacterial and fungal meningitis and also in CNS disorder. A sample of CSF can be an important clue. It can tell your doctor if you have one of number of conditions such as multiple sclerosis, when your immune system attacks your nerves, encephalitis, inflammation of the brain cells, myelitis, inflammation of the spinal cord, stroke is a condition that causes bleeding around your brain and leukemia is blood cancer. Now what are the function of CSF in human body? CSF protect the brain and spinal cord from trauma or accidental injury. CSF supplies nutrients to nervous system tissues and also CSF can remove waste product from cerebral metabolism. It also lubricates lubricate brain and spinal cord here are a list of some common pathogens that are involved in csf infections that include hemophilus influenza nigeria meningitis streptococcus pneumoniae group a and b streptococci gram negative bacilli salmonera brucella treponema palladium they are rare and listeria monocytogenes microbes that cause chronic meningitis that are mycobacterium tuberculosis, streptococcus pneumoformans, cocaidioids, emetis, histoplasma capsulatum, blastomyces, candida species, nocardia, and actinomycetes. Sorry, actinomyces. So, how will we collect CSF sample? CSF is normally sterile. That's why it is collected in sterile container or syringe and specific transport medium will be used for transformation to laboratory transportation to laboratory csf is collected from lumbar region through a technique called lumbar tape or spinal tape or lumbar puncture it is usually collected from l3 and l4 vertebrae before collection the Patient back is cleaned or disinfect through disinfectants to remove microbial normal flora then inject local anesthetics into lower spine. Expert physician will collect the CSF sample. Once the sample is collected in a sterile syringe, 3 ml sample will require for chemistry and serology or biochemical examination. 3 ml for microbiology and 3 ml for hematological studies. The serology or biochemistry sample will be kept at refrigerator till the test performed. The last sample is necessary for microbiological examination. The sample for microbiology will be kept at room temperature and proceed as soon as possible. Next is hematological study. Cytometry can be done through microscope in which WBCs, RBCs and cancerous cells are counted. Physical examination of CSF. 
When infection is started recently, the CSF seems to be clear, colorless, and their viscosity is equal to water. But viscosity is increased when proteins are increased in CSF. If the CSF infection is chronic and for longer time, then the color and turbidity will appear in CSF, which is pathological condition or disease condition. Most commonly, turbid sample is because of bacterial infection in which WBCs and pus cells appear which suggest CNS infection that is meningitis and encephalitis. Red or brown color CSF indicated blood in CSF. There may be during collection or it can be pathological that is bleeding, intraventricular hemorrhage, etc. Sometimes the color of CSF may be yellow in jaundice or it can be xanthochromic which suggests subarachnoid hemorrhage has started recently. The normal range of protein in CSF is 10 to 40 or 10 to 45 mg per dl. Mostly the globulin proteins are present in pathological condition. The CSF protein may be rise because of bacterial meningitis. Protein are usually normal in case of viral meningitis. It also increase in tuberculosis and in brain tumor. The normal value of glucose is 45 to 80 mg per dl. The glucose level less than 30 are seen in acute meningitis or bacterial meningitis. Usually in viral meningitis, Glucose are normal or slightly affected. In tuberculous meningitis, glucose decrease. Also in brain tumor, microscopic examination of CSF. Normal CSF have 1 to 5 lymphocyte per high power field, but CSF may contain WBCs and varying amount in some disease. Just like neutrophilia shows bacterial meningitis, and lymphocytosis shows viral meningitis or aseptic. CSF is blood free normally but due to malignancy and subarachnoid hemorrhage RBCs are present in CSF. Or blood can be present due to spinal tape during sample collection which is not pathological. In differential count first we stain the slide or smear preparation through different stains. There may be Leshman, Jemza stain or field stain. When the slide is ready then we observe in oil immersion lens and count 100 cells and record the percentage of the cells. Mostly turbot sample is used for gram staining in which crystal violet, iodine 95%, ethyl alcohol and sephronin are used for smear preparation and staining. During microscopy, the pink color will gram negative bacteria and purple color are gram positive bacteria. We can also stain the smear with Zeal Nielsen staining to find out that bacteria is either acid fast or non acid fast. Those bacteria which have mycolic acids in their cell wall are acid fast bacteria and they retain pink color while non acid fast lack of mycolic acid and they appear blue. Microbiological examination include bacterial and fungal culture in which bacteria will grow on medium and antibiotic sensitivity will checked. The blood agar contain sheep or horse blood usually and used to isolate fastidium or fastidious organism and detect hemolysis. Chocolate agar contain red cells that are lysed on heating and used for growing fastidious organism that is Haemophilus influenza. On McConkey agar only grows my uh, gram negative bacteria. It is used to differentiate between lactose fermenting and non lactose fermenting bacteria. Thioglycolate medium 
is made such that oxygen level at the top is high and low at the bottom. So organism that like oxygen will grow at the top making cluster and organism that are anaerobes will grow at the bottom while micro aerophilic organism will grow beneath the bottom sorry beneath the top while facultative anaerobe bacteria will grow in all over the tube thanks for watching